Hola y buenos días. Hoy vamos a hablar sobre profesores y estudiantes. Ella es profesora o estudiante. Ella es profesora. Ella es profesora. Es ella o él. Es ella. Ella significa she. Él es he. Ella es ella. Y estos son los pronombres en español. Y esto está en la página 9 en el libro. La página 9. Tenemos yo. Tú. Tú tiene acento. Acento muy importante porque esto significa you, tú significa your, right? Pues los acentos son muy importantes. Usted, you, formal. Él, ella, ella. Ella. Nosotros o nosotras. Vosotros, vosotras. Ustedes. Ellos. Ellas. Algunas cosas importantes aquí. Vosotros. I'm not going to test you on vosotros because vosotros is only used in Spain. Um, it is important, right? If you go to Spain, you will hear vosotros all the time. Um, so it's important that you be able to recognize it and know it exists. Um, my Spanish is Mexican. Um, my first is Mexican, so I don't teach vosotros so much. Otras cosas aquí. These two, these three are all conjugated the same. Even though usted means you, formally, it's conjugated the same as el and ella, which is what we're going to see. And these are also conjugated the same. Other things that I should mention here, nosotros and nosotras. So if we're talking about a group of females, we're going to use nosotras. If we're talking about a group of males, we're going to use nosotros. So the O in Spanish is generally masculine. The A is generally feminine because we have two genders in Spanish. However, what happens if we have a thousand girls and two guys? It's going to be nosotros, the masculine form, because romance languages are a little bit sexist like that. They just are. And the same applies down here for ellos and ellas. So it doesn't matter if I have a million, a million females, if I have one guy in that mess mucking it up, it's going to be the masculine form. Um, muy bien, vamos a continuar. Estos son, what pronoun would I use for these? Three men. I would use ellos. Tres mujeres. Ellas. Dos mujeres, un hombre. Ellos o ellas. Ellos, right? We got one man in there mucking things up, right? So it's going to be ellos. Tú o usted en la familia. Remember, tú is informal, usted is formal. We would use tú en la familia. Tú o usted. We we'll probably use usted in this situation with a doctor. Tú o usted with your professor. Probably use usted. Tú, tú o usted. We're probably going to use tú because these guys look like they're pretty chummy, right? Ella es una profesora. Tenemos aquí una profesora, ella, she, blank, a professor. So this word has got to mean is. This is the verb to be, ser en español. And this again is on page nine in the book. Yo soy profesor. Yo soy profesor. Tú eres estudiante. 
Tú eres estudiante. Él, ella, usted es de Carolina del Sur. Es. Nosotros somos. Vosotros sois. Ellos, ellas, ustedes son. So a little bit of practice here. Yo. Well, tell me what the verb what the verb said is for this. Yo soy Maria. S. Because Maria is the same as ella, right? Maria S. Nosotras somos. Juan y Pablo. Ellos. Two guys. Son. Vosotros. Sois. El profesor. Es. Tu mamá. Your mom. Es. Nosotros en la clase. Somos. Tu amiga. It's the same as ella. Es. Yo. Soy. How would you describe cómo eres? Esto es una pregunta, cómo eres. Ya vimos cómo estás, right? Cómo estás. Cómo estás means how... There are two verbs to be in Spanish. Don't worry about that right yet. This is one verb, estar, which is used for, you know, temporary things. Um, like I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm good, whatever. Um, ¿Cómo eres? How are you as a person? How would you describe yourself? Por ejemplo, yo soy tranquilo. Tú eres tranquila. Are you tranquil, calm? And here we're seeing something. Adjectives must agree with the noun. Generally in Spanish, not always, masculine ends in O, feminine ends in A. So when I say yo soy tranquilo, it's because I'm male. When I say, ¿Quién es tranquila? Normally I'd be in the class full of females, right? But this doesn't always work like this. So we're going to go to page 10 in the book. La página 10. And here we have, and here we have in the first box, a list of adjectives. Admirable, arrogante, conformista, etc. These don't change masculine or feminine. They are what they are, right? However, in the second box, ambicioso, atlético, etc., these change based masculine to feminine. So whenever you see something in the book that looks like cómico, when you see a slash A, it means it has to have a masculine or a feminine form, right? Um, so keep that in mind. Bueno, vamos a practicar. Vamos a ir primeramente 1.7. And you're going to look over some of these, and many of these are, many of these adjectives are um, cognates for English. They mean they look almost pretty much the same as they do in English. So I want you to look at the, pause the video, look at these different ones, and ask yourself if you are the following things. And then I'm going to ask you, and we're going to, you're going to read the sentences out loud. So pause the video, go through the checklist 1.7, and find out if you are these things. Muy bien, número uno. Eres optimista? Eres optimista? You can respond with si, sí, soy, whatever, o no, no, soy, whatever the thing is. Eres optimista? Eres creativo? Eres serio? Eres responsable?
¿Eres extrovertido? ¿Eres paciente? Muy bien, vamos a continuar. 1.8. I wish I could hear your answers. I always like to riff on them in class, but we're online, so hopefully I'll get to see you in 102 in the fall and we'll do it then. Um, 1.8. So I'm going to read you some audio. Let me go back over here. Here we go. Well, it doesn't display as well online. Um, so look in your textbook. So I'm going to read you some audio, and I want you to listen for some clues here. I want you to listen for if it's singular or plural, if I'm talking about one person or multiple people, or maybe I'm also talking about masculine and feminine, right? So I want you to match up what I say with one of the pictures. So numero uno. Son atléticas. Sorry, that's my dog licking his paws in case you were wondering. Son atléticas. So we know we have atléticas, right? And that pretty much leaves one, which would be the chicas futbolistas, right? We also have son, so we know it's plural. We have atléticas, so we know it's female. It's, it's uh, feminine. Numero dos. Es tranquilo. Es tranquilo. So let's think about this. We have tranquilo. It ends in an O, so we know it's got to be masculine, and we know it's singular because it doesn't have an S on it, right? So there's only one there, and that would be the hombre indígena ecuatoriano. Número tres. Son artísticos. Son artísticos. So we have son, so we know it's going to be plural. And then we have artísticos. OS, artísticos, which ends in OS. Artísticos. So we know it's, it's got to be either males or a mix of males and females, and that only leaves us with the jóvenes moralistas, right, in Nueva York. Cuatro. Es creativa. Es creativa. So we know es, it's one person, creativa. Got to be a female. That only leaves us with Isabel Allende. So you should read. She's a very good author. Cinco. Es extrovertida. Es extrovertida. So we have S, so we know it's singular. So we're between the, the hombre indígena, the guy with the axe, and the writer. Extrovertida. In an A, so we know it's feminine, it's got to be Isabel Allende. Numero seis. Son ambiciosas. Son ambiciosas. So we have son, we know it's a group of people. Ambiciosas. So it ends in AS, so we know it's got to be a group of females, so it leaves us the chicas futbolistas. Siete. Son generosos. Son generosos. So we know it's a group of people, right? So these are the chicas and the, the jóvenes. Generosos, we know it's going to be an, either all men or a mix of men and women, right? So it's going to be the jóvenes moralistas. Y número ocho, es práctico. Es 
practical. So S, we know it's singular. Practico, we know it's a guy, so it's got to be the guy with the axe, right? Not scary at all, though. Muy bien, let's go into 1.9. Personas famosas. Estas son personas que many of you, you may know, you may not know. Uh, you, you obviously know who Shakira is. You know who Rico Rodriguez is. You ever seen um, Modern Family? Sonia Sotomayor, uh, Supreme Court Justice. Javier Bardem, very, very super famous Spanish actor who's done a lot of American films as well. Um, check out his stuff. Very, very good. Okay, so I want you to write um, a sentence about these people, right? So, por ejemplo, let's go with Javier Bardem. We could say S. So what does he do? He's, he's an actor. S actor. Following the model, E, S, de, de means from España. And then we can add some adjectives about him. S blank, E blank. He is, he is this and that. So I want you to pause the video, go through all of those, and see what you come up with. Muy bien. So we've gone over quite a bit of stuff today. So you're ready in the workbook to do um, 1.2, 1.6, 1.7, and 1.9. So go ahead and do those to keep up with things. And that's it for today. Nos vemos mañana.